we will not allow anybody to step out of it. So if we want to agitate, let us come together and define our problem. Then let us channel it where we are supposed to agitate. And you know what we have passed through. We have suffered and labored. So whoever is coming out out of ignorance or whatsoever selfish and self-centeredness to tarnish what we have done or any action that will affect the success of this project, our Pedro group will stand against those body. This is where we come. And this is the root of our action today. So for the interest of the masses, it will be put on hold. And I hope that everybody will learn from this that it's not as if we don't know what to do. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit, comrade. Abdul have come now, not too long ago, to address this uh, menace. Uh -huh. Because I was saying that we should wait before condemning. Let them hear from the horse's mouth. Let them hear from comrade Abdul. Let them hear if it's a propaganda, if it's somebody is. Uh, using the platform to perpetrate something. Let us hear from him. So he has spoken. Let's listen. Through Nigerians, I'm addressing this uh, voice note to executive members of Ogram Pressure Group and other Nigerian subscribers that has uh, reached out to me this morning appealing for us to withhold the exercise going on for the release of proof of payment of our commitment financial commitment since the onset of this our UAG program. Um, quickly, I want to make this clear that that right of if every one of us read it carefully, it is not to witch hunt anybody. Mm -hmm. Neither is it uh, to be used against anybody because our name is not quite there. The right of is meant to address issues that has to do with all the stakeholders of this UAG. Yes! I was saying it. Let us hear from Ken, Evie, Joe, all of them. They start feeling guilty because they, 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 they embezzled. I said, let, let, let Abdul come and address this. It might not be the way they are taking it. This is when somebody says, bring statement of account or declare your asset. Is this something that everybody should start panicking? When you panic when they say declare your asset or bring your statement of account, that means there is something fishy. And we, organ pressure group, as we cannot deny it, we have, we have a very big growth we have played. Our name is there. So I don't know why some people should see it as something being sentimental. That is why, that is why people should even know how sincere we are that is in dealing with issues that has to do with this grant. Yes. That should be a proof for people to know the level of our sincerity and integrity. So, but as uh, the masses has uh, uh, appealing, the most important thing is disbursement, which I myself am standing for. Nobody wanted to come far or to even uh, get uh, to this point. What we have been working for and uh, praying for is disbursement, and that is what uh i will not allow anything to take uh, uh to, to take that from us i will not i want to take, say it here that it is not even about the accusation on us as a group it is not the one they made to me as a person i was accused to have bought Prado jeep all sort of things but this is where evidence will have come out if indeed who extort the masses this is a very clear ground Yes, as I was saying, although Abdul has his own, he eats money one way or the other. But he's coming out to create a platform of sincerity. He's coming out to create a platform of sincerity. He is saying, bring proof of payment, bring statement of account, bring everything so that everything will be on the table. And the masses now that wants disbursement are crying against it. How will disbursement come out? Through Nigeria, on us as a group, it is not the one they made to me as a person. I was accused to have bought Prado Jeep, all sort of things. But this is where evidence will have come out, if indeed who extorted the masses. This is a very clear ground for us to have known who extorted the masses. Even my group chapters, uh, River State in particular, has been accused 
they are saying they are extorting money. And I keep on putting it to the people that have uh, addressed me or addressing the public. I get to them, please, I need a proof. Somebody should give me evidence. Whoever is using our name, being a chairman or an ambassador in any of the states, I will personally handle that person. But nobody could give me any evidence. But yet, it is all over there. I am a human being. I can't be happy you see that this name is being uh, uh, being ridiculed. However, it that wouldn't have been enough for me to even take this step. The reason why I take this step or as a group, we decide to, okay, let us know where the problem is coming from. Yes. Is the recent madness going on that is affecting the process of this disbursement? The madness is that some people are there pulling forces that their money, they have lost money in the UAG, accusing wrong people. I can't, me, as much as I'm alive, I cannot allow that those people that is the target of this group of people. I don't know if anybody is sponsoring them. I don't care. But I will never allow anybody to ridicule that those names, they want to bring issues. I will never allow it. I will never allow anybody because I was part and parcel of the process. The old process that we look for documents, for two years we could not get anything. We lost our money, we lost wasted effort before these God sent people came to our aid. They have taken a lot of sacrifices. They have taken bullets because of us. Just for them to see that the, the, at the end of the day, this thing favored the masses. And yet we are not grateful. No, I will not be part of those ungrateful people. I can never be part of it. Because I know what these people have done. I know what they have went through to see that they help us to bring this thing to favor me and you. If anybody wants to do it, create any nuisance against those names, I, Comrade Abdul and my team, we will stand against that person. Enough is enough. So, and the aggressiveness coming from other pressure group these days, it's not because of us. We don't damn care. We have received a lot. But there are some sacred names that we can never allow people to touch. Because if you don't know, try to know. Don't allow anybody to blindfold you into an uh, unjust fight. In the, so in the course of protecting that name, I can reach any extent to defend those names. I can reach that any extent. If not, let us come back to the drawing board. Then let us know where the problem is. We cannot give our uh, problem that we have created for ourselves. For innocent people that are trying to help us, we can, I cannot allow it. Because these people, they came with pure heart and sincerity. So they cannot, they will not be the one to inherit the problem we have created for ourselves. They will not be the one. On that note, I want to appeal to all the masses that we, organ pressure group, we are very open and transparent. No matter how anybody wants to tarnish our name, no matter how they want to talk. You see, he's making it clear. All grand pressure group is transparent, is open. What about UAEG? Can Ken come and stand like this and make this declaration? Everybody say whether you have given us money or not. This is what I was saying at earlier instance. This is what I was saying at the earlier instance. Comrade Joe, everybody came and attacked him. These people are not innocent. The people that are attacking him about proof of payment are not innocent. Put upside down, just for their greedy and selfish interest. This is the reality. Look at it, just a very few move, a step taken. Everybody, they are panicking here and there. Yes! I challenge this step we are taking. I challenge any other person to take it if they are sincere and honest. I challenge them to take it. Our name is equally there. Let this. us know where the extortion people are crying about, the collection of money people are crying about. Let us know where it's coming from. What should be a big deal here? Why the panicking? Anyway, um, as a leader, I will still always get back, put my ear to the followers and the lovers of this group. Everybody are not are not fighting us. For the good people, um, I listen to you and I listen to your appeal. I want to use this media to address the Office of Account and Audit of Organ Pressure Group of Nigeria to suspend the exercise. But for now, and I also want to see 
that people will regain their senses to do things accordingly. They should not step their boundary. Because there are boundaries that we will not allow anybody to step out of it. So if we want to agitate, let us come together and define our problem. Then let us channel it to where we are supposed to agitate. And you know what we have passed through. We have suffered and labored. So whoever is coming out out of ignorance or whatsoever selfish and self-centeredness to tarnish what we have done or any action that will affect the success of this project, our Ongar Pejo group will start against those body. This is where we come. And this is the root of our action today. So for the interest of the masses, it will be put on hold. And I hope that everybody will learn from this that it's not as if we don't know what to do. You can't be in a glass house and be throwing stone. You have to think twice. So on this note, all Grand Pleasure Group want to still assure Nigerians that we are on the right track. We are focused. And our priority is nothing but disbursement. It's disbursement. So um, I want you people to stay calm and let's focus. But not the other way around. We, there are people that we, Olga Pejo Group, will not allow their name to be brought on mud. Yes, we cannot allow it. Because from the onset, why this, uh, this body or people are being instigated to bring these people on mud? I know what these people have done for us. I know, and I know what is their take and their position before. That and among the person he's talking about, the number one person is Ostas Dawood. The number one person he said he doesn't want his name to be brought to the mud is Ostas Dawood. You know, everybody, most of people are castigating him. Ostas Dawood is his, is his secretary, is the brain, brain, is the mitochondria, is the nucleus of all grand pressure group. He's the one that is doing the hidden work. UAG is taking the glory and they are blaming him for being a black sheep when well, is the one doing all the job. That is why Abdul is annoyed. If you are the one, wouldn't you be annoyed? You do all the work, but the people come on the social media and make you feel like a black sheep of the community. I was saying it earlier. Let us leave Abdul. He knows what he's seeing. And people were... Anyways. We started this process. If there is anything we have been cautioned of in this very issue that we are today, some people have lived big on the expenses of others. Some coordinators, those small small kids, those started crying now. We know what they have done. Mm -hmm. Now they want to push the blame to someone else. Mm -hmm. God sent people. They want to push the blame to them. It can never be accepted. Everybody should put their load. Even other people, we are ready to put our load. And that is why we put our name here. As much as our name is here, you should know how ready we are. Anyone that comes through us, we are ready to take responsibility. Let everybody take their responsibility. Nobody should push the blame to anybody. As much as we are working hard and praying for this thing to happen, please, everybody should be very mindful of their action. If you don't know, try to know before you act. Try to know because uh, what some of you are passing through now, we have passed through it and we have graduated. And we refuse to go back to it again. Thank you so much. And uh, once again, my name is Comrade Abdul, the Executive President of Program Project Group of Nigeria. Have a nice day. I, I never tell you to share any voice note or any broadcast, but I'm telling you now to share this one. I'm telling you now to share this one. Why I'm saying this is because this is what I have been saying all along. It was as if I was a voice in the wilderness saying things that are not realistic. People are dropping comments in the description, calling me names. Now you have seen it. Share this, please. See you on the other side.